Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what I wanna do is get the business right out of the way from the get-go. First of all, if my content has ever given you guys any value, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Also subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. Also, if you wanna join my Patreon or become a member, join my Facebook group, all of it's down in the description, guys. Make sure you check it out and become a member today. All right, now listen. I have a screwdriver, two of them, a Craftsman and a uh, Weehaw screwdriver electric and bought both of them put my own money and <laughs> i had to send the wee haul back already uh i didn't even get probably close to 10 receptacles maybe put on and it just it just crapped out on me so i've had nothing but bad luck with it and you know i'm very upset uh it is right now at Weha in Minnesota uh, to have it looked at to see what is the problem because they claim that it's definitely something wrong with it and I agree if you guys watched the first video if you want to check that out I'll link it right here when I first introduced them um, you guys can see right from the get-go I mean I had a box which is not here now but I had a box right here and it didn't even want to screw the receptacle into the box so I don't know I I, I just played downplay a little bit maybe I guess um, it's a fantastic looking feeling it's industrial. It looks like a damn good screwdriver, but it just doesn't produce. The Craftsman has, man, I have driven so many receptacles in the wall, so many Romex connectors closed, so many panels screws closed with that thing already. And I've had it for, what, six months, five months, and it's been flawless. But that's not why we're here. Today, what we're here to talk about is this right here. And this is yet another Weehaw product. And I don't know if it's good or not. Uh, I've used it and it seems to be okay. Doesn't mean it is because I thought that the other screwdriver was good. And uh, this is not electric. This is a torque screwdriver. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the torque specs of certain items like in your panel. Because if you guys know anything about electricity, if you have loose connection, it always makes what? right that's fire you're exactly right so if you have loose connections you're going to really suffer in the long run um you know you're going to heat up the breakers you're going to melt the wire you're going to catch your house on fire possibly so you don't want to do that so it's always good to torque things down as tight as you can and if you have a torque screwdriver well that's even better now you can find all your torque specs on all your panels on one side or the other. On this panel, it's over here on the torque specs. Also on your breakers, individual breakers, there's torque specs. I'll show you a picture right here. Where you can see where the torque spec is on a breaker. It's super easy to find. Uh, get you a torque screwdriver, it doesn't have to be this one. This one is very pricey. But once again, I bought it, saved my money because I wanted to see if indeed this was a excellent product and to me honestly this one is a good product um because you really can't go wrong with it it's a torque screwdriver right so the thing about it is there is one thing that i don't like two things actually but one thing that i really don't like is you cannot buy any other bits for this except the weha bits that's it so if uh you didn't buy the combo kit like i did with all the bits well, you're screwed. You're not going to be able to uh, go down to Lowe's or Ace or wherever and just pick up one unless they have this brand in there. But anyway, so I, like I said, I got the case with all the bits in it so I can figure out what I need and blah, blah, blah. Now, another thing I don't like is um, I wish the handle right here was a little bit bigger because um, I got a pretty big hand and that is small for me to try to crank down. And I wish it was a little longer. So that's my only issues with it. But other than that, uh, you know, it's a torque screwdriver. So, right, you really can't go wrong with it. I just wish there was a little bit more leverage because it's kind of hard when you're in, you know, like a breaker of this size and you're at like 35 torque pounds, you know, and you're trying to crank down and, you know, you have carpal tunnel and it, it's hard to do so. But anyway, let's see if I have these torque down to spec. Now, I don't know because I just did this video. And if you want to see a video on how to mount a panel, had a wire panel check up here in this corner right here guys you guys will see the whole entire playlist of how i did this and we'll go from there now let's look at the torque spec on this breaker right here and we'll see what it is i'll crank this down and i'll crank that down and we'll see if it is torqued right it says 45 pounds so what we have to do is we have to take this tool out and we have to crank it to 45 foot pounds 
So what we'll do is we'll stick her in here, put the thing in here like this. So this piece goes in here and it has a window, which is right here where my fingernail is. And you crank it down. So see him spinning. All right, let's crank it to 45. Let's see if indeed that it is tight. All right, so this piece goes in like that. And looks like I'll need a big flat like that. And we'll just put her in. So now we have this. Let's see if it's cranked right and if it's tight enough. So we'll bring you close and see. We'll do the top one first and see. Here, let me make sure I get a good purchase on it. All right, here we go. Nope. I can't even twist that thing, it's so tight. There we go. So now we are torqued right. So I got about two turns on it. Now, normally I would never have thought that would even be a issue because I cranked the heck out of that with my hand with a regular screwdriver and it was, to me, it was tight as I could get it. We'll do the bottom one the same way. You want to hold a lot of force on it because you don't want to strip the screw out because that will happen. I've done it before. There we go. So there we go. I got about two and a half turns on that one. Now we're good and tight. It's the spec. And I got a big callus on my hand because of the little bulb. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to tell you guys a couple of things. First of all, uh, if you guys are really into your trade, I think it's a good idea to purchase high quality tools. Now, I also think it's a very good idea to um, check around with reputable people like me, for instance, who will tell you um, if they're good or not. And uh, honestly, do I think this is good? Yeah, I do. I think it's really good. Now, this thing here, um, if it had, you probably could wrap something around here maybe. It's just, I just wish it had a bigger handle, more turning power because I think you need that for this. But there's other brands out there that are just as good as this for way cheaper than this. But I'll leave links if I can find it down below. You can check them out the price. I mean, they're expensive, but you know, you're getting a thousand volt, you know, rating on here, you know, and you're getting the nice looking colors and you're getting, you know, the nice little brand and oh, look, this guy's got money because he's buying tools. But really, sometimes people don't have a lot of money and they still buy these tools like me, for instance. So anyway, I think it's a great item. No matter what you do with any torque wrench, whether it's a torque screwdriver, torque wrench or whatever, always when you're done, crank it back down to zero because you don't want to leave it, you know, ready to go. You want to have it at zero at all time. All right. I'm in it right here, guys. Uh, you can make your mind up about it. Um, I think that it's a very good idea as you see how this is just a temporary thing anyway, but it's always good to go back and check your panels. Always go back to check every five years or so to make sure that your panel's tight because you know that can create a lot of problems in your house. Believe me, I've seen it time and time again. If you wanna see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.